Hello everybody, my name is Tom from Swiss Gaming Team and I'm gonna go and do another tutorial for you. This is my first uh, Photoshop tutorial. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a really, 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 really easy tutorial on Photoshop because I was wondering this for like a month on how to do this and I didn't know because my texts were like all shit and stuff but now that I got this, my texts look cool. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to make this thing and uh, so first of all, uh, the just just it's the text effect but the gradient I'm just gonna add it so I'm gonna choose two colors okay really quickly we're really quickly and my click doesn't work I hate this it's just, this click doesn't work okay gradient done now text uh, just for those of you who don't know the font is Clubhouse. It's a pretty nice font. Uh, tons of font. Let's let's choose another one. Uh, it is unreadable. Put the white texture on. Swiss. I'm gonna type Swiss. Uh, right here. It's not the same font, but yeah. So I just just put Clubhouse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. Why does this thing doesn't work? I don't know. Back clubhouse. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put this in the center because this is what's going to have to do. I'm going to go into uh, blending options. And sorry if you don't hear me quite well. That's because I'm testing out a new lab. And you're going to add a drop shadow. Put the distance all the way down. Uh, and the size will increase it and the spread a little bit. So then it's like you have this nice cool background effect. Uh, now you're gonna add a stroke. Uh, you can put any size. I'm gonna put it at one because I like it at one. And uh, bevel and emboss. Uh, so I'm gonna put 1000 depth, uh, soften it, and the size. I'm gonna put it down to here. Uh, and now uh, you can always put a color overlay like a red overlay I'm just gonna keep it to white but who cares uh, and in the um, I forgot in which one it was yeah this you wanna you can choose any but there are presets and this one I can't remember which one this one was pretty nice and uh, also for the inner shadow you want to add an inner shadow you can leave the default options on but you see our text is starting to look pretty nice and this is what I was talking about when you do this you have like this cool background effect so if you reduce the spread a bit and the size you you actually gain kind of a like a highlighter behind effect I like this effect but you can always remove it but yeah I'm gonna put it for this tutorial. You can put the opacity down, up, or down. And uh, yeah, so you're done. And uh, I'll make sure to upload more videos on tutorials on uh, GFX, Photoshop, etc. Because they're not that hard and I like them. And also make sure to check out my uh, uh, gaming setup video that I'm gonna put up soon, I guess. And as always, see you later. Peace.